Hey folks, Andy here from Wind NC, lovely Kate Patters, North Carolina. I just wanted to talk you through some of Shinduk's windsurfing universal joint offerings. Uh, I've got them split up into rows here. The top row are all single bolt bases, meaning that they attach to the board with one bolt and a little brass tune out there that you slide right into the trap. The bottom row are all two bolt systems which is a really nice strong method to attach the uh, base to the board here. Uh, it's very convenient as well because you can simply leave the base in the board. You can purchase separate bases, uh, plates I mean. Um, so if you have three boards, you can just buy three plates and leave them in the board. When you're ready to go, pop that in there, close the latch, and off you go, hit the water. Super easy. Uh, the hex tool to tension the screws is actually embedded in the bottom of the joint, which is pretty cool. Very convenient. Uh, you do, however, lose a very small amount of adjustment range in the mass track. You lose about two and a half centimeters in either direction. Generally not the end of the world. Uh, so, besides having single bolt and two bolt bases, uh, the next biggest difference is whether you get Chinook's EX pin or US cup system. The US cup is kind of uh, tried and true. It's been around for a very long time. It's these two little spring pins here uh, in concert with the US cup base. It's a very easy system to use. Pop it together. It's very secure. Squeeze the pins to pull it apart. Uh, pretty easy to deal with. Uh, it's also very tolerant uh, of you know, sandy, dirty conditions, uh, you're not going to jam up the mechanism there if uh, you're prone to getting things dirty. Uh, so that's a nice tried and true system. Uh, the EX pin is a great system as well. Uh, this is one chunk of stainless steel here, so it's virtually indestructible. Uh, my personal base is the EX pin. I've had it for at least five years, if not longer. Uh, I do routine maintenance on the tendon itself, but the rest of the universal joint looks like it's brand new, but it's five years old, which is pretty awesome. Uh, that, you know, you have to pair up with the EX pin extensions here, which is this uh, very simple button system. Uh, so, very easy to put it together, it spins nice and free, it's uh, nice and sturdy, very solid connection to get it apart. Press the button and it pops right out. So, pretty sweet stuff there. Uh, you do have to be pretty careful about getting sand uh, in the bottom of the extension here and in this mechanism because uh, I can get gummed up by sand. So, one thing to be cautious of. Uh, I did just mention the tendon here. Uh, the tendon is a very stiff connection to the board, uh, a very small loss of power through the whole rig there, which is good. Um, other people like the hourglass system. Uh, the hourglass system is a little bit softer connection. Um, so if you sail someplace with a ton of chop, uh, people sometimes like the hourglass connection because it kind of deadens some of that um, and absorbs some of that chop, which is pretty cool. Um, all of the parts on these bases are easily replaceable. Uh, this is a US cup of tendon, sorry. Uh, yeah, easily replaceable parts. We've got all the little bits and pieces you might ever need, so uh, it's very easy to rebuild these things. If yours is taking some abuse and you want to uh, replace some little bits and pieces, just give me a call and we'll get you all hooked up. Oh, there is one more option. The mechanical joint, uh, which is the stiffest connection. There's you know, virtually no play uh, with these things. Uh, it's just two little hinges there that allow the rig to spin and twist in just about any direction. Uh, so very rigid connection there. Always another option. Uh, pretty much indestructible too. Pretty cool. So that's it. Single bolt, two bolt, EX pin, US cup, hourglass, or tendon. So you have six options, and then when you toss in the mechanical joint, you have seven options.